It's the middle of the school year and you're no longer feeling that beginning of the school year feeling. For weeks you've been saying, it's almost winter break, it's almost winter break, but that's over now. So how do you stay academically motivated mid-year? 10 great tips coming right up. Hi, you're watching Journey with Jordana, helping you take the next step in your journey to your future. So come on in, take a seat on the counseling couch, and let's dive straight in. I recently stumbled across a store called Flying Tiger Copenhagen. Now, I've never been to this store before, but I have to say, I love this store. I mean, it has everything you could possibly need to stay motivated in one store. So not only will I be giving you some tips, but I'll also give you some tools. Tip number one, clean out the clutter. Organize and decorate your space. Now there's a saying that a cluttered desk is equal to a cluttered mind. I don't know if that's true because there's another saying that says that a cluttered desk is a sign of genius. So I'm personally hoping it's a sign of genius, but if you can't find what you need to get started, that's just a mess. So clean up the clutter. Fortunately, according to a New York Times review, if you have a fetish for storage, you can feast your eyes on a selection of bags, bins, basket boxes, backpacks, and pins. There are a host of things. You can use art decals. Or make your own works of art. You can put up these funny hands. There are even office hammocks for your feet. How about some candles? Jars? Tip number two. Gather and use some school supplies that make you feel like you've got it together. There are document cases and document file folders, colorful folders, pop art notebooks, leather bound notebooks, glitter, metallic, and notebooks in a variety of sizes. They're poofy pens, flower pens, decorated pencils and pencil holders. They're desk organizers. staplers in a variety of colors, stamps. Tip number three, right as you're about to get near to your home or right as you're about to get to school in the morning, play an inspirational song that pumps you up and makes you feel invincible, untouchable, like you're ready to take on the day. Tip number four, jump in to your work not on the couch. I can't tell you how many times I used to come home and say, I'm just going to have a snack and relax a bit and then I'll start my homework. Hours later, I'm wondering where the time went and whether I feel like staying up late to finish my work. So don't wait. The longer you sit there, the less you'll feel like getting up. As soon as you get home, jump into your work. Tell yourself that you're going to work with your best effort for at least 15 minutes and then you'll have a snack or a break. By the time the 15 minutes are up, you'll probably feel pretty good about yourself. And the progress that you've made will help you be motivated to continue after you've had your snack. Tip number five, have good lighting. That way you won't strain your eyes or get really sleepy. Number six, 
Remind yourself of why you're hustling so hard right now. Create a vision board. Where will you live? Where will you work? Where will you travel? What will you enjoy? What's your purpose? What will you give? Take images of all of those things and pin them into a canvas board. Every time you look up at them, you'll be reminded, that's why I'm working so hard, because I want to get there. Another option is to fill a picture frame with a motivational quote, lyric, prayer, mantra, whatever inspires you. Tip number seven, get a large calendar. Make your goals real by giving yourself deadlines. Write out your upcoming projects and events. Then start working on those projects, events, assignments ahead of time. Being ahead of schedule is motivating itself. You can also make a time study plan with a checkoff list. For example, if I have five chapters to study in five days, I'll assign a chapter to each day of the week. Each time you check off an item, you'll be reminded that you're capable and confident. Now, after that, take that self-congratulatory show on the road. That's right. Take all of your study materials with you. Make studying a part of your everyday routine. Have you ever been waiting around somewhere for something to happen or for an appointment and you find yourself annoyed because you have this mental checklist of all these things that you're supposed to be doing? Now, who's to say that you'd actually do them if you were home, but it's almost like um, that movie where the guy's like, nobody makes me bleed my own blood. Nobody makes me waste my own time. But me. Anyway, pack up your study materials. Flashcards and study sheets are great for this. They fit in your pocket or your bag. You take them with you. You'll impress yourself with your great use of time, how efficient you are, and you'll feel confident and motivated because you're already prepared for whatever test is coming down the line and hasn't even been announced yet. Tip number eight. If you're studying for a long time or you've been working on a project for a while and you start to feel your motivation levels dropping, 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 keep your body alert by keeping the temperature cool, circulating, and moist with a humidifier. And sometimes you just need to get up and start exercising. Somehow keeping your body physically moving, keeping your energy pumped up actually helps you to be mentally motivated and pumped up. So get down and give yourself five or 10. Tip number nine, we're almost there. Whenever you feel tempted to be distracted or get off track, remind yourself of how that activity or that thing will ultimately affect your goal. Talk out loud to yourself, even if you sound crazy. Sometimes when I find myself watching TV, I think, why am I sitting here watching television with successful and rich people? Don't I want that for myself? Let me get up and get to work. No worrying, relax. You're chasing your own success right now by finding out how you can stay motivated to keep striving. Anyway, we've only got one more left. Tip number 10, my favorite strategy. Reward yourself. Say to yourself, if I finish this next chapter, if I finish writing this page in the next 10 minutes, if I get the right answer when I quiz myself, then I get a timed break. I get to have a snack and something to drink. Now, I wouldn't advise that you watch TV or do something that you can easily lose track of time. Instead, how about some desk games? How about Newton Creel? Look at this cute golf ball. Or you could have a mini dance party. Turn on the strobe lights, turn on the lava lamps, whip out a few little hand instruments, and go ahead. And don't forget to pace yourself. Remember, you don't want to stay up all night. Go to bed at a decent time so that you can wake up the next morning refreshed, still motivated, and ready to go. If you stay up too late, you'll wake up dragging and you'll need to be motivated just to get out of bed. So how will you stay motivated? Comment below. Well, that's enough info for you to take your next step this week. Get motivated. And remember, you don't have to have it all together today. Life is a journey and I'm here with you. So subscribe, 
And don't forget to click that bell so that next time we post a video that will help you take your next step, you'll be notified. And remember, friends don't let friends drive drunk or stress out about the future. So, if you know someone who could benefit from this, share. Thanks for watching Journey with Jordana.